reviewing a bunch of things today, but among them is a lot of love and appreciation for my trans and non-binary friends and colleagues. Trans women are women, trans men are men. Ah, oh, hey Hank Green. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> What's up, my beardos and weirdos? Today we're diving into r slash trans, but also r slash non-binary because I like these two subreddits and I wanted to combine them both for the most powerful Monday ever. <laughs> uh, if if uh, if this does go out on Monday, otherwise I'll look silly and all of you can poke fun of me in the comments. <laughs> all right, let's get started. The saddest death in Harry Potter is my respect for J.K. Rowling. <laughs> the great thing is that even though the creation came from JK Rowling, there are so many people that helped develop it into the product that it is today. There's so many different voices that are represented in there that while an idea stemmed from one person that may not be as welcoming or accepting or understanding as they should be, my goodness, JK Rowling, please. The great thing is that you're not just listening to her voice, you're listening to a lot of different voices. And Harry Potter is pretty much a character that exists unto himself now. <laughs> and so do all of the others in those stories. So I feel like, yeah, author, not so great. The stories, they can live on. <laughs> One of my friends was talking to me about wanting to get a binder. He has kind of transphobic parents, so I was pretty worried. But then he pulls out this fantastic logic. Quote, they're very traditional and don't want me messing around. I'll just tell them it's to make my breast look smaller so guys don't check me out or anything. We then spent the next five minutes looking for Amazon articles for binders that didn't have the word trans in them. And then he explained to his parents what he wanted. Then, with a galaxy brain response, he replied to, Aren't those for... Slur for trans people. Oh, that sucks. With, yeah, so what? I like boys. You can't be trans if you like boys. And then they were just like, yeah, okay, makes sense. <laughs> And that's the story of how my friend got himself a binder by playing off his parents' bigotry like the Chad that he is. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> I can only hope that you can help your parents normalize this in their minds. While they may see this as Abby normal, hopefully they'll realize, actually, it's a pretty normal part of life. <laughs> people are intricate, people are weird, people are different. And sometimes people are, are just pretty gosh darn different than the, how they started out. It, it, it doesn't really matter what part of the path you start on. It really just matters where you're going and where you end up. So good on you for going to the direction to lead you who you really are. <laughs> you rock. And especially with logic like this. That's awesome. I just got told to go away by a trans person after telling them they shouldn't exist. <laughs> how can they be so hateful? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, who's the snowflake? <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, I'm I'm lying on my floor to record these. I've got some things shifting around right now, but I'm lying flat on my floor in a little igloo of foam tiles. <laughs> so hopefully the audio's good. <laughs> Just a small update in the world of one topic. <laughs> my best friend linked me here. I am a 100% straight guy, but I just want to let you all know I haven't been able to stop browsing this sub all day because you are all absolutely adorable and probably the nicest community I've seen on Reddit. Aww. <laughs> Troy Vallis. Hey, very cool. <laughs> uh oh. So a few years ago, I made a post on here about how I was the straight guy who just liked hanging out on the sub. <laughs> so that was a lie. Hi, I'm Evelyn. A lesbian so useless it took me years to realize I was a girl, let alone gay. Aww. <laughs> Good for you, Evelyn. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> Aww. Staff at the Rock House in Andover asked about a woman's genitals and inaccurately insisted that it was illegal for her to use the ladies' toilet? What? So all three punk bands playing the venue chose to collectively walk out on the event. Proper solidarity. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where is this? Pinknews.co.uk. Excellent. Oh, oh, rock house. Oh, my goodness. What do you think is going to happen? What do you think the consequences of someone going to the bathroom? Bathrooms aren't for trans people. You poop not sitting down, but instead climbing the walls and hanging upside down and drawing pentagrams and <laughs> worshiping Satan. <laughs> Ah, oh, people just need to poop. <laughs> Why does it matter where? I mean, okay, all right, to be fair, it matters that it's in a bathroom. So, don't like poop in the in the lobby or anything, obviously. But like, yeah, as long as you're pooping in the bathroom, who cares? 
which bathroom it is. You do you, fam. That's <laughs> illegal? It's illegal to poop here. <laughs> uh, Grandma was born in 1905. One time she was showing me pictures of four little girls and paused. Of course, that was before Norma was a boy. Grandma was eight in the picture, which meant that it was 1913. She said, Her parents took her away and brought back a son. Grandma said, They had a funeral for their daughter and from then on had a son. The Lord put it into their head to do what was right. Grandma also said, So that's my cousin, Jed. I reckon he did all right. Again, this was 1913. Never use the excuse, product of their time. If my Southern Baptist 103-year-old grandma could understand transgender, so can you. God dang! God dang! Way to go, Grandma! 1913. Holy bejeez. You know, there's small little moments in history that if we could just collect them, not forget them, will remind us that things will be okay. Things have been okay for other people in the past, and if we work together, they'll be okay in the future. Mary, Robinette, Cowell, your grandma rocks. <laughs> Thank you for sharing the story. A few years ago, a roommate abruptly decided to move out to live with her boyfriend, and I ended up spending about half a year sharing an apartment with someone I had never met before, an Egyptian girl with very limited English. She was confused by my appearance and asked me, boy or girl? It took me a while to understand what she was saying, but eventually she got the point across, and I told her that I was a girl. She seemed unsatisfied, and I explained that I was transgender. Unsurprisingly, she didn't know the word. We ended up communicating by typing our respective sentences into Google Translate. Unfortunately, whatever the Arabic word for transgender is, it wasn't a word she knew either. Eventually, I ended up typing in, I used to be a boy, but it made me unhappy, so I decided to be a girl. She stared at it for a moment, then asked, you are happy now. I said yes, and she smiled and looked thoughtful. A couple of hours later, she came up to me and said, You and me, we are sisters, and gave me a hug. <laughs> you say you are a girl, you are a girl. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my little heart. <laughs> oh, I love that story. God transcends gender. Oh, my lord. Well, folks, you heard it here first. Dennis Prager says God is non-binary. Ho! 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 Ha! 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 I love it. That's awesome. And with that, we're diving into r slash non-binary. Ooh! Good for you! Oh, that's so cool! Ho! Oh, that's so cool! Oh! Sex. X. Feeling pretty. XC today. <laughs> oh, that's really cool. Oh, I like that. Oh, when governments get things right, you know, it takes a while. It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of people sticking up for other people, you know? We can't forget that a lot of the progress that's happened today is not because of any individual person, but because a collection of people have rallied around the correct thing to do and have made that possible. You are very cool. <laughs> Happy New Year's, gentle them. Are you a boy or a girl? I'm an experience. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> there is absolutely nothing better than living outside the gender binary. Hashtag I am non-binary. Ah, oh, cool. <laughs> That's so neat. I like that. Grayson is drinking Mountain Dew. They have four bottles of- oh, they have four bottles of Mountain Dew with 36 ounces each. They can drink one bottle of Mountain Dew in three minutes. X equals the number of minutes since Grayson started drinking Mountain Dew. Very cool. Ah. Uh, we stand my math teacher. I'm Grayson. She wrote the questions. Ha! Huh? <laughs> Teachers can be some of the best people. One of the teachers I'll never forget was my English teacher uh, back in high school. This person understood that I had a very difficult time reading and understanding things because I had dyslexia. I, I struggle with it constantly. It, it, it's, a, it's a thing that I've learned to live around rather than live with. I, I have a lot of coping mechanisms and coping techniques that I can use to make things a little bit easier for myself. But having a teacher stand up for me and give me the things that I needed, including <laughs> letting me access the compute the school computer so that I could type out documents rather than try to handwrite things, it made everything so much easier. 
It sounds like Grayson, your teacher, is one of those. One of those individuals who got into teaching for the right reasons. <laughs> I love it. Very cool. Trans girl. I think I'll call myself Samantha. Trans guys wearing Victorian boy clothes. I want to be called Duke Elliot Fernand the Fifth. Non-binary people. Call, call me Rock. rock. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Can we bring back wearing swords, by the way? I, I, I know it's a little off topic, but hey, if, if you've seen uh, if you've seen the promotional material, the thumbnail, made, made by Rev Cost, the amazing artist, when I'm wearing a sword, uh, yeah. Can, can we make wearing swords a thing again? I think that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> Everyone would be a lot more polite, I think. <laughs> Inside you, there are two wolves. One wants super short hair. One wants long, but <laughs> one one wants butt length hair. You are non-binary. <laughs> I used to have long hair. And I used to have very, very short hair. Both are very cool. If you want to have long hair and you're a guy, go for it! You have almost an infinite number of examples of why that looks cool. For me, a Aragorn in The Lord of the Rings, am I right? <laughs> for someone else, maybe it's Legolas. And I, don't know, I think that's pretty cool. Sometimes I legitimately cannot tell. Are you a man or a woman? T a trans or not? I'm actually horrible with recognition and whatnot. You, my amazing person, are winning. <laughs> That's really cool. I love the outfit too. That's nice. Use my correct pronouns or draw 25 cards. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, I think sometimes parents take the longest to change. They, it's very easy for them to say that they're stuck in their ways, that they've been calling you something for so long that they can't change. Ah, uh, still your parents. And I hope you can work with them to help them show you... I hope you can work with them to show them who you really are. And I think eventually, eventually they'll catch on and do what they should. Because sometimes, parents can surprise you, even if it takes a while. So don't give up. <laughs> July... December! Whoa! Look at your progress! Oh, good for you! Oh, that's awesome! Oh, and you look so much happier! Okay, hang on, who's this by? What a six month difference did after getting sober, switching to vegan keto, and coming out as non-binary trans mask- Oh, you're awesome! Way to go! Moon- Moon Festival. Oh, I love it! Thank you for sharing that! Wow! Look at your progress! You keep rocking it. That's amazing. I'm non-binary. Boring. Old has binary in it. I am gender unbound. Powerful. No mention of a binary. Makes you sound like an ancient god being who's finally been set free to wreak havoc upon the earth. <laughs> oh, Tony. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, per the previous post, but also being non-binary makes you seem... Pretty otherworldly, pretty godlike, pretty super powerful being like. Did most of the gods. Alright, Loki, as an example. Loki, either way, still Loki. Very awesome and cool. But also, as powerful as a god! <laughs> uh, sometimes I think out loud, and then I say just random stuff. Your physical appearance is not what determines our identity. Long hair doesn't mean you're too feminine to be non-binary. Short hair doesn't mean you're too masculine. This applies to piercings, tattoos, hair color, clothing, height, weight, skin color, everything. You can look however you want, and that doesn't change how non-binary you are. That is true! Like, alright, individuals who are non-binary out there with beards, my beardo non-binaries out there, or even my beardless non-binaries, if you have facial hair, that doesn't really make you any less non-binary. Cut jawline? No less. If you want to have dyed hair, not dyed hair, Long hair, short hair, who cares? You do you. Whatever fits your style, that doesn't change who you are. If I suddenly shaved off my beard, I don't do that that often, but if I did, and then I put on a bunch of makeup, I could still be a, a straight guy who just enjoys having a shaved face and a lot of makeup on. It doesn't change who I am. So why would it change the other way as well? If you're non-binary and you want to either enjoy a bunch of makeup, not wear a bunch of makeup, if you just want to present the way that you are, that does not change who you are. You be brave out there. You do you, no matter what anyone else is doing. As long as you stay true to you, that's what matters. You rock star. <laughs> are you a man or a woman? I am a villain. What gender are you? Evil. 
Y yeah, but what's in your pants? Doom. <laughs> <laughs> I know we've had this meme before, but I love Invader Zim so much. It's so good. <laughs> also, I, I feel like Zim would have been very quick on his feet and coming up with, uh, with a response to this, very similar to this. And also, I'm not even sure Zim is a guy. Zim's just weird. And also an alien, so <laughs> I don't know if it matters. Uh, but uh, in one of the scenes, Dib, uh, when early on meeting Zim, was saying, his skin is green! <laughs> and Zim responded with, yeah, Dib said that. And then Zim responded with, it's a skin condition. And then Dib said, but where are your ears, Zim? Are missing ears part of your skin condition? Huh? And Zim just goes, yes. And everyone in the class, like the champions that they are, all turned on Dib at once because Dib being intolerant is not the thing to do, my man. <laughs> And everyone in the class that day, you were all champions. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> uh, women. Men. Yeah, whatever. Tell me, please, what the heck are you? I'm an artist. Oh. In the in the whatever jail. Oh. Oh, Gonzo. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this speaks to me on a deep spiritual level. A non-binary icon. Oh, I love it. <laughs> also, Muppet Treasure Island, if that wasn't a large part of anyone's childhood. If you haven't seen it yet, put, put on put on, put on Muppet Treasure Island just because it's a good movie. Tim Curry's in it. Tim Curry for Rocky Horror Picture Show. I, I think you should just watch it. Also, watch Rocky Horror Picture Show if you haven't seen that. <laughs> she, he, they, me. Oh, for the sisters, misters, and binary resistors. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I really like that. Wow, there's a lot of symbols. That is really cool. I think I'd enjoy reading that. Huh. This one. Okay, my mouse is on the screen here. This one looks like Missing No, the Pokemon, you know? <laughs> oh, that's so cool. I like it. The same gender? S -s -s same. Same gender! Shake, same gender. Same gender. Same gender. Same gender. Same gender. <laughs> oh, God. Ugh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right, my beardos and weirdos, thank you for joining in on another video. Happy Monday, or whichever day this goes up. I'm going to try for Monday. Who knows? We'll see. <laughs> thank you all for being so supportive and also checking out the channel and leaving positive comments and making this overall a positive space where everyone can exist and be happy. I love it. I love it so much. Whether or not we're sharing funny memes or we're sharing emotional memes or we're sharing... Wait, what? Am I a furry? What? Hang on. That's a really cool drawing. <laughs> Huh, okay, I know this is my subreddit, but wow, that's really gosh darn cool. I like, alright, moving on. Thank you all so much for coming to another video. <laughs> oh, I really enjoy making these. I'm gonna keep making them. Uh, I know I try to do a video a day. I'm gonna keep trying to do that, especially upcoming in the near future, very near future here. Um, there's a lot changing on my end, but I'll, I'll keep you all posted when things change. <laughs> alright, my beardos and weirdos. We'll see you in the next video, where we take it one topic at a time. Roll that outro!